that back, right? Oh, John. Yeah. Like back's all closed up. Yeah, it just it was open, but now it's closed. Oh, here. Oh, good. <laughs> how we feeling this morning? El Capital. Is that how you say excellent in Spanish? Excelente. Yeah, excelente. Oh. <laughs> that was one of those where you could actually just add an A on the end. Really? Yeah. Excelentísimo is even more. Excellent. Well, that's what happens when you get a fin down here in the land of Spanish language. <laughs> You're going to get all kinds of stuff that makes no sense. The audience. I'll be like my brother-in-law. He went, he thought he knew how to speak Spanish. He goes to Mexico, he walks up to a federale, and instead of saying I'm studying criminal justice, he told the guy I'm a hardened criminal. His brother had to bail him out of the predicament he created, so. I'm, I'm not gonna use my Spanish on any uh -huh. uh, federales or anything. We have Mr. Heffelfinger with us today. He has written numerous books on the the ins and outs the the he he's the 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 modern day Elliot Coos cows <laughs> now, if there's anything about cows deer that we need to know we have the human encyclopedia right here he brought the book the audio book yep <laughs> so, what is it deer of the southwest deer right of the southwest hey Brian <laughs> nobody can get around you <laughs> Oh, that group right there. That's a fun group. <laughs> That's how you ensure you're the first one out. <laughs> you park where no one else can get by. Yep. I never thought I'd say this, but I'm doing some mountain ops this morning, boys. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Brian brought enough mountain ops with him that. I think we could all live on mountain ops for three or four days if it has the nutritional value necessary to not be malnourished. That was like a burnt stump, maybe not. I thought it was part of a tire. Yeah, I kind of looked close to it. Nope. It's uh, the plastic wheel well uh -huh. off a of Toyota Tundra. the first morning hunt I guess you could call it day two but we're out here in a spot that in prior years we've seen a lot of deer from right here the idea being in the morning the does are up on their feet and I do a lot of quick scanning in the morning when the deer are moving and then when they bed once the sun's been up for a while then you use big binos like this to just grid. We will find them, it's just whether or not we'll kill them. I fully intend to kill them. Folks, if you're sitting around and watching this thinking I'm only going after big bucks, you could be disappointed because I'm going after any buck that makes an appearance. Oh, that, yup, spike, 100%, that's a spike. <laughs> you can see it so well there. Where? on that white rim rock right here. That's funny. It took it till it was perfectly silhouetted on that white rock. We got a Sonoran Dick Dick bedded right over here. We're gonna go put him on a shish kebab. Carry him out like this, like your lunch pail or something. Just what I've been looking for. Been waiting a year for revenge here.
deer stood up looking to the right. Just stomped his feet. He's gone. Gigs up. Gigs up. just got up and because we never saw him run out of there so we thought he could be holed up in there but you were so close and then I think you were down there I think you guys were talking and so we figured to call you off because it's probably not there anymore he must have heard us huh? was the wind switching over? Right once we got up there the wind was right in our face so he had to have heard us Did you see him, Michael? Yeah. Yeah, he's like big Hank. He's pretty big. Mm. Yeah, he's a good deer. Yeah. Well, you guys go fetch up a couple limited birds, and uh, <laughs> we're gonna go. You're gonna put the stock on that one, right? Yeah, we're gonna let the air out of that old boy over there. So we'll come back here and we'll have our birds laid out, and you'll have the deer laid out, and we'll be on to the hunt in the javelina next. Huh? Uh, I, that sounds really good on All right. paper. All right. <laughs> Well, I just ate two candy bars and a thing of gummy bears that are stuck in my teeth. Arcus and I are going to hike about a mile that way. Pop over this ridge because some deer disappeared down in a drainage and we haven't seen them for three hours now. We're convinced they're down in there. We're further gambling that we're going to find them. And then we're gambling even further that if we do find them, we're going to be able to spot and stalk them and shoot them. Yeah, I mean, you can't possibly shoot a box of shells on Merlin's quail, can you? Yeah. <laughs> you know, three shots per bird to fill in it. It's all right. I can do that. Yeah. 
We're ready. I'm bringing up the rear, boys. <clears throat> I'm going to jump this tank and in Arizona you've got to be free of lead when you go through so I'll have to drop the best and kind of pop up over and see if I can catch a duck on it. See what happens. I'm go right up over the top here. Heel. Dang it! Teal. It'd be nice to see a water retrieved by the poodle pointer. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I could have had a teal in the vest. Good girl, Shy. Oh, stop. Good girl. This is actually a first year bird. It doesn't have the defined lines all the way across with a high contrast. So this is a this year's bird. Good girl, Shy. You want to drink? You did good. Good girl. Jerry, she's got a good point. Yep. Yeah. Get ready right now. Dog does her job. Good. Why couldn't they have been right there? Why, why did yeah, or I could have been right <laughs> here and pushed them right that way, right? Easy. Easy. I have no excuse on this bird here. I don't know why I missed it. I was dead on it twice. That was a nice little bunch there too. I didn't even see near a, I, I just know I missed him. Shy, come. At times I think today is perhaps not our day. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least the good thing is a lot of them flew that way and that's where we're going anyway yep. to chase singles, so. You get them closer to the truck. It'd yeah. be easier to carry that way. I need a new windshield. Wasn't wasn't our day today. <laughs> Beautiful scenery. Got some exercise. Let's leave it Weather at that. Weather turned out fantastic <laughs> this afternoon. to the truck I'm just like <laughs> all of a sudden I hear Marcus whistling and there's a doe and a buck going up over that ridge oh well 
That is so much different once you get back there. <laughs> I <laughs> never stop being different. amazed. I get down there and I'm like, I can't. As long as I'm doing it. Yeah. Those stocks today, by the time we pop up where we think they are, they're moving on. So. Oh. Now what to do, huh? Yeah. Oh, holy crap. That is a big buck. If you stay here, I'm going to drop off this side of the... Okay. Mm -hmm. So here's what happened folks. You've seen us glassing from right here all day long. We go and turn the truck around. We're like, let's go find a javelina. And <laughs> and I glassed all afternoon from right down there. <laughs> I know. And so we're, we're driving out. Mark says like, there's a deer right here. I don't know, I'm thinking to myself, that can't be. We've had Wade's truck was parked here. We had the dog yeah, running around right here. I had my truck parked here. So. I mean, I, I I apologize that it probably looks like road hunting, but <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't huge, but I had to shot him so quick. He had some, but, some long beams and G2s yeah. and then really but he only had like bump bump on one I, side. I could only see like one. Yeah, he just had, the, he had brow tines, G2s, and he had a little bump oh, on did the front he? of one side. Okay. But if I could have got right around there and he would have come back doing that thing he was doing, it would have been yeah. like 25 he yards. He was interested in one or a couple of those does and he was just kind of hanging around there. Yeah. It, we go on that big couple, two, three mile loop, Jim, we could have just sat here in the lawn chair. Two big dogs, I know it. <laughs> what did you say, Marcus? It's not road hunting, you're just driving to your next glassing spot? And if you see them, that's where your next glassing spot is. Exactly. <laughs> All right. You're figuring it out. Darn it. Is it bad when you see more deer in five minutes of driving than you do? <laughs> yeah, <know>. right. <clears throat> it tells you how noisy I am going through the woods. My vehicle doesn't scare them as much as I do. First full day is about coming to an end. <coughs> I'll head back to the headquarters, camp, whatever you want to call it, the B&B. &B. See who all made it here today. I think our new compadres in crime are the Hushin guys got here today. I think Sam Solholt got here today. Um, I think Jim, who's been with us all day, and Jerry, I think they both got to leave tomorrow. So we'll go back to camp, tell big stories. Hopefully someone's got something to cook. Otherwise, we're going to be grilling brats or something. You are. Got some good stuff right there. What is this? Coo? What is it? It's Coo Chili. Tell, tell the camera. Coo's White Tail Chili and Mexican Spoon Bread. Made by the famous Jonathan O'Dell. I tell you what, tomorrow I might be regretting it, but right now I got a smile like a ripple on a slop pail. No, I bought a small game license. I figured I needed to get it anyway to apply. Mm. 
What do I have one for that? Really There's one spot that I know I have. Logan, hey, nice to meet you, man. How are you? How are you doing today? We saw three or four bucks and a handful of dozen. Yeah, that I don't know. Nice. Were you able to we find out how to kill them really well? Oh, well, we were okay. able to try. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is why you read instructions. Once you turn on the grill, it will enter idle mode. Then the display dash. It's doing things. This is a coon gear back leg from the buck I shot in December. We're gonna season it up, let it sit overnight, and start it midday tomorrow. Cook it slow for six hours or so tomorrow on that little mini Traeger, and hopefully have a good meal. I'm just gonna leave that fat on. If John Odell said to do it, I'm gonna do it. And I use a lot. Why do you use a lot? Because it's like, well, it's almost like a dry brine because it'll it'll start leaching into the the meat and then like when we cook it tomorrow when I cut into it there'll be like a little layer it won't have gotten super deep but this this a lot like it kind of creates a crust on the outside too and this is like super salty like tasty crust.